Hi everyone, and today it's time for a new book haul. Yes, haven't done a book haul for ages. I'm so, so excited to do this one. It is actually a birthday book haul for my birthday, which was on the 21st of August last Tuesday, and I absolutely loved it, and I got some great books. They're all from Amazon. Some of them are new, some of them are used. Just depends on the price. Sometimes new books are cheaper, sometimes used books are cheaper. I got whichever was cheaper because people don't want to spend loads and loads if they can get it cheaper. But before I start, I just have one confession to make which I didn't talk about in my last video and that is about my summer reading challenge. Unfortunately, I didn't actually reread all the Harry Potter books in August. I just found them very, very long, very, very intense and I think reading them one after another for me is a little bit too much and I really need a break from reading them. So I've stopped reading them. I read books one to four but when I do continue, I will read the final three books and do my reread review then. So don't worry, you'll still get the reread review it's just going to be a few months away yet i just need a break from them because they were very intense and it was all too epic but anyway onto the book haul the first book i got was the perks of being a wallflower and this is by stephen chibosky it's actually going to be a film as it says on the front of the book in September 2012. I'm probably not going to read the book before the film comes out, but when it does come out on DVD, I'll obviously be watching it then and buying that, rather than seeing the film in cinemas, because I'm going to wait a little bit before I read this. But it does sound really, really good. My friend at school recommended it day after day, and, like, begged me to get this book, and I actually read a sample on my Kindle, and I loved it. It just sounds so so amazing. It's really, really interesting actually and relatable as well because obviously it's about a teenage boy at school and I think everyone can relate to that, definitely at my age as well, and it just sounds like a really fabulous book. Some people say this book gets a bit dull and boring. I'm not sure if it will for me though. I think it's going to be really, really interesting, but obviously I have to read and find out where I stand with that opinion because I can't give an opinion before I read the book. And then the next book is The Spook's Apprentice and this is by Joseph Delaney and this is a horror book. I don't normally read loads of horror books. It's going to be really interesting for me and exciting to actually read something from this genre. It's very, very different, and apparently it's not a book that you should read when it gets dark. I'm actually going to read it when it gets dark, because apparently you're not meant to, and I want to see what it's like. I'm going to read it sort of October kind of time. I don't know if any of you have reviewed it in the book community. I've not really looked it up on YouTube, but if you have, tell me what you think about this book. I really hope it's going to be really good. It just looked really, really exciting and sort of different for me. I want to get into different genres like the horror genre. Apparently it's really, really good, and I like to be spooked out from time to time. Not often, but I think it'll be a nice change for me and a really sort of scary book. And the next book is slightly longer, but I have actually heard a few things about it. It is Maximum Ride, The Angel Experiment, which is the first book in the James Patterson Maximum Ride series, I think it's called. Apparently it's very, very epic and exciting and interesting. It really grabs you into the story and it just sounds like the kind of thing I would enjoy. It's a little bit longer, like I said, but you know, definitely one that I'm going to enjoy sort of plunging into as a read, a bit longer read, take a little bit longer with it and just really devour it and enjoy it. From what I've heard, the characters are really, really good and the issues explored are really interesting and always sort of get you thinking a bit and that's the kind of thing I enjoy in books. It's not one that I want to read immediately and I'm going to wait a little while. It's not one that really just stands out for me right now against all my other books on my shelf. When I do get around to it, I'm certainly going to enjoy it because it just sounds and looks like a great book. Moving on to the next book, which is Legend, and this is by Marie Lu. A lot of you will have heard about this book. It's quite sort of talked about a lot in the book community. A lot of people have read it. It gets mixed reviews, but I think I'm really going to enjoy it. It does sound like really, really good sort of plot synopsis and stuff from reading the blurb and everything. It just sounds like really sort of epic and exciting and really sort of will grab me, and I'm sure I'm going to love it because it does sound the top that all fans of The Hunger Games will love it. And I love The Hunger Games. Hopefully I'll love this as well. I actually really like this cover, actually. I think it's quite dark and sort of secretive, and I assume that's what the book's about. It just really sort of gets you thinking. It doesn't give much away, really, but it just looks like a really nice cover. I really like that fire and sort of orange and black and stuff. Everything's really, really cool on that. Some people really love this book. On the other hand, some people really didn't like this book. So I'm kind of interested to see where I stand with that. I'm sure I'm really going to enjoy it though. Obviously, I looked into it in good detail before buying. It does sound like the kind of thing I'd enjoy. And then the next book is probably the one that I'm most looking forward to reading. I am so, so excited. I'm going to read it in September or October, probably September, because it is Iona by Alison Goodman. And of course, I'm excited to read that. I loved Ion when I read it this year. It was probably one of my favourite reads of summer, probably one of my favourite reads of the whole year as well. It was just so epic and a high fantasy and I just can't wait to see how everything concludes in this. I thought everything about it was just really, really good and it just grabbed you in and it's definitely a great, great duology and I'm going to love this book, I can be quite certain. It's actually the American cover which I have and I'm really annoyed by that actually because I can't fit it next to my UK cover of Eon. Amazon are pricing these really, really weirdly actually. The first book in the UK cover was really cheap 
but then it was the American cover for the second book that was really cheap because the UK cover of the second one was almost like nine pounds something. And I'm not going to pay that much when I got this for just a few pounds. Brand new copy and everything. I actually love this cover though. I think it's really nice. And I'm just so, so excited to see how everything turns out for Iona because I thought she was a great character. I thought the plot synopsis was great and different and unique and exactly what I looked for in a book. And I just can't wait to finish it. I love it's a duology as well because it doesn't drag on or anything. You just get right to the point and enjoy it. And then the final book is the only hardcover book and it is Seekers The Quest Begins by Erin Hunter. This is the first book in the Seekers series. I have actually read a little bit of it on my sister's copy, but I don't like that copy. It's absolutely disgusting and really sort of sparkly. And I don't think Seekers is about sparkle and stuff. I don't know why the UK cover has all that. This one looks so much better. You know, it's got a few stars, as you can see in the sky, but it's not sparkly and sort of... It looks very childish to the UK cover. I'm really glad that I could get this one for such a cheap price. I wouldn't have got it if it was, you know, really, really expensive. But I think it was only like £2 something. So, may as well get it. It's a used copy, but it's in perfect condition. So, I am going to love this book. I always love Erin Hunter's writing style of it. It's a pseudonym author, but it's always very easy and simple to comprehend and understand. You get through the book really, really fast as well. It'll only take like a day or two, maybe three days at a push. But, you know, I am going to love this book. And I'm sure I'm not going to enjoy it as much as Warriors because Warriors is always really, really good. But I'm going to love Seekers nevertheless, and it's going to be a great book to dive into. So those are all the books that I got for my birthday. I'm obviously really, really excited to read them all. They all look really, really good and sound great as well. If you've read any of the books or have anything to say about them, please comment below. I want to know loads about them. I want to be really excited about them. If you have any bad things to say about them, it doesn't have to be positive, but, you know, try and be positive as much as possible. I want to be positive about the reading experience and booktubing and stuff. Try not to be too negative about these books. Don't put me on off them but obviously honest opinions all the way please please honesty is great but just comment with anything you have to say i always love hearing your opinions and responding to them as well i always interact with my subscribers obviously like as well if you can if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't already so again thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed this video and my next video is going to be the q a part one Yes, there will be more than one part because I have loads of questions to answer, but I'm still very, very excited to do them. But until then, see you all again later.